everyone, I'm Iris Almario. Welcome to Pulse of the Port. In this show, we're gonna find out just how those powerful 15-story gantry cranes really work, discover what makes the night shift at the port so unique, get an in-depth look at the new green pilot boat, and visit a few manufacturing companies whose production line depends on raw goods imported from Asia and beyond. So let's get started by joining Scott Nelson as he comes face to face with a mammoth gantry crane at SSA terminals. 88, 89. Hey, I'm Scott Nelson. And after a long day at the studio, I like to keep the old bod in shape. But what if I told you I know a guy who can lift 20 tons, 120 feet in the air, and at about 30 times an hour. And he does it all without breaking a sweat. This is a gantry crane operator at the Port of Long Beach, and he lifts containers. Okay, so he has a little help with the crane, but don't be fooled. Making this monster-sized piece of equipment do what he wants isn't easy. And to learn more about it, we're going to start from the ground up. I'm with Bill Hetty, crane manager here at SSA Terminals. Bill, how's it going? All right, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Good, yeah, good. I noticed that the crane is on some type of rail system here. What is this all about? This is a 1,600 ton piece of machinery. And if you had rubber tires, it wouldn't work. So gotcha. it has to ride on a rail just like a train. Wait, did you say 16 what? 1,600 tons. 1,600 tons. Yes. You know, I'd love to see how and where this is powered. All right, so this is it. Yep, this is the main disconnect for this crane. Each crane has one. Everybody's crane has a main disconnect. The power coming in for this crane is 4,160 volts. It's fed from a trench. All these cranes are fed from the same trench. So what you're telling me is, it's electric. It's electric. All the cranes on the dock are electric. Um, on the dock, they're all electric. No diesels on the dock. That's great for the environment. That's it. All right. I'd love to uh, take a top side up there. Let's go. We have to go in here? Yeah. All the way up top? All the way up top. We are really, really high up here. Uh, Bill, where are we going? We're going to go inside the machine house right now. Are you ready? <laughs> ready to go inside for sure. All right. Wow. Bill, this is pretty mammoth. There's a lot of cabling in here. There's two cables. Each one are 2,100 feet 2, long. 2,100 feet in the hoist. Yeah. Okay. 2,100 feet long cable. It goes all the way out of the boom all the way back to the back reach, under the spreader, everything. There's two consecutive cables all the way around. Over here, this is the trolley. This is what's dri driving the trolley out over the ship and back. All right, so we've got the hoist. The hoist, the, the trolley. Trolley and the boom. And the boom system. Yeah. All right, you ready? This is the operator's cap. Yeah, let's go inside. Would you like to sit in the operator's seat? Can I? Sure. Whoa. I mean, you can really see everything from here. Not everybody gets to do this. Star Trek, anyone? Reset right here, control power. Control on reset. Hit that. Push that button. Whoa. You get an alarm telling everybody we're turning on control power. OK. And once that's clear, very gently, this lever here, your hoist lever, mm -hmm. very gently pull it back. Pull very it back. Very slow. This is pretty incredible. We're getting pretty close here. Do I keep it's going? Okay. It's OK, keep going. Your other lever, here's your trolley lever. Okay. Whoa. Now the whole cab is actually moving. The whole this cab is, is moving like we we're going to go over a ship. This is incredible. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is actually swaying quite a bit down below on the uh, well, that's normal. spreader. Yeah. What happens like on an extremely windy day or really bad weather? The, the operators we have are very, very good operators, well trained. Once they're over a ship and they're coming back and the spreader swings, they know how to time it and trolley into it and catch it and make it stop. And this is where the uh, camera comes to play, correct? Yeah, the once he's over the ship, he can see his, that there's nobody between the legs here. This is looking straight down the air between the legs or behind the crane. So when he's coming back with a container or the deck lid, he knows that he's clear. So how, how far does this go out? How far out over? The, um... This boom is 210 feet long okay. over the ship. It's about 22 containers wide on the Point ship. Is there any ships that come through the harbor that the, the crane can't handle? Or? The, this crane can go on any ship that we, that's, we service, yeah. 
Well, Bill, I gotta tell you, we had a fantastic time and I can't thank you enough. I appreciate it. Well, thank you for coming out. I appreciate having you. Absolutely. Thank you. There are roughly 71 gantry cranes working around the clock at the Port of Long Beach. But would you believe this work was once done by hand? To put it in perspective, we called on an expert. An empty cargo container weighs about 8,400 pounds. In order to lift it up any distance, especially 120 feet, you need a pulling force on the other end of the pulley that matches that 8,400 pounds. Now an adult human, male, is only going to be able to pull down with about 200 pounds of weight because that's how much the person weighs. You can't pull with any more force than you weigh. So to find out the number of people required to lift the container, you take the weight of the container and divide it by the weight of the person. Adult males at 200 pounds will require 42 people. Adult women at 150 pounds will require 56. And a sumo wrestler tipping the scales at 400 pounds will only require 21. Now the gantry crane can normally lift a maximum of about 100 tons or 200,000 pounds. In terms of adult males, that's about 1,000 people. Oh, <laughs> hey, you know what's really impressive is that those cranes can pick up one of these no problem. In fact, they can lift up to 100 tons. That is 200,000 pounds, people. I hope you've enjoyed this tour as much as I have. I'm Scott Nelson, and we're going to see you next time. Gantry cranes are impressive, but I'm still not ready to operate one.